Good morning, dear students. I'm glad to see you. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Okay, let's start our lesson. And firstly, I would like to show you video. Uh, watch this video carefully, then try to guess the topic of our lesson. Communication has come a long way. First, early humans during the Stone Age started to communicate and express their thoughts and feelings by signs or gestures. They were able to send signals via fire, drums and whistle. Later on, the humankind started to communicate via cave paintings, a type of parietal art found on the walls and ceilings of caves. Another form of early communication was during the era of camel messengers. People used to give their message to a person who delivered it while riding in a camel. Other forms of communication were messenger pigeons. They were first used in 776 BC. After the messenger pigeons came the first postcard service. The first commercially produced card was created in 1861 by John Charlton of Philadelphia. With the help of Thomas A. Watson, a Boston machine shop employee, Alexander Graham Bell, developed the first prototype of the electric telephone in 1867. After the first telephone, communication evolved even further with the invention of the internet and the World Wide Web, which started being used in 1989. Global information medium, the World Wide Web, or simply the Web, was invented by Tim Berners-Lee. Fast forward, and communication nowadays has become even easier with the invention of Hello2, feature-packed end-to-end encrypted communication device for modern offices and homes worldwide. So, dear students, uh, what do you see? What we are going to talk about? <laughs> about communication? About communication? Yes, sure. Today we are going to talk about communication and the technology. So, in today's lesson, we will learn vocabulary for means of communication, practice vocabulary for means of communication, and uh, revise the previous grammar. Uh, dear students, look at these phrases very carefully, because today's lesson is very closely related to these words. You can write these words on your copybook, but firstly... Listen to my pronunciation, then we will pronounce them together. Send an email, elektronda khatchiberu, send letter, khatchiberu, send text message, metindik khabarlama jiberu, chat on social media, alumetik jillerde suylesu, chat on Skype, Skype arkol suylesu, talk on my mobile, real telefon men suylesu, talk on landline, stacionarlık telefon arkol suylesu, talk face to face, bit 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 suylesu. So, dear students, uh, now let's practice our new phrases. Look at the pictures and uh, use the new phrases which we are learning today. For example, the first picture is Talk on landline. The second picture wants to answer. Send a second picture is send a letter. Yes, you are right. The third picture. Yes, good job. Continue, please. The next picture is chat. Chat on social media. Yeah, you are right. The next picture. Okay, 
Do all right. And the last one? Last one. Open open open. Open. Yes, good job, students. So let's move on. Now we should use the phrases with always, usually, often, sometimes, and never to make sentence. And each of us will give one example. And I will start. For example, I always talk face to face. And your options? Who wants to answer? Uh, for example, I always uh, do sport. I usually chat on Skype. Yes, you are right. I sometimes. I often. Uh, uh, I often play on my mobile. Yes, you are right. So, students, it's enough. Uh, dear students, uh, let's remember the last topic. Do you all remember the present simple or present continuous forms? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay, this is excellent. Then look at the screen. Here we must put the verbs in brackets into the present simple or present continuous. You have time to think. Wants to answer? Kuliman? Can you read the first sentence? Uh, sorry, but I can't understand because of my connection. Uh, here we must put the verbs in brackets into the present simple or present continuous. Can you read the first sentence? Pick a mail. Yes. Peter is not here. He is studying at the library. Yeah, you are right. The second is the second sentence. Would you want? don't. Yeah. Please continue. Uh, you don't understand what I'm saying. Uh, okay. It's right. It's present. Uh huh. Third sentence. Purliman. Isher and Rain are at the sports and they are playing tennis. Very good. Who wants to answer? Read that. The children. The children. Don't like. The children doesn't watch TV very often. Very good. And the last sentence. Please be active. May I? Yes, yes. Teacher. Uh, Ted belongs the bowling only once a week. Okay. So, dear students, look at the screen. Here you can see words with the definitions and uh, you should match them. So, you have time to think. Uh, the first, uh, yeah. definition, um, is, um, first definition is E. A post about your current activity, thoughts, or feelings is status update. Alright. Second sentence. Uh, a group of people who have grown up with digital yeah. technology. Yeah. Uh, it's D, digital gen generation. Good job. You are right. 
the people you can see and speak to a computer is uh, see virtual uh, virtual friends. Uh -huh. Directly meeting in the same place is uh, face to face, maybe. Good job. Yes, you're right. And the last sentence? A website that helps people communicate and share information is a uh, social network sites. Yeah. So, dear students, uh, let's summarize our lesson. Look at this table and uh, uh, let's remember our new phrases. You have some time to find uh, the phrases which we are learning today. Students, what phrase have you found? Have you found? If you found, mm, can you social. Check out, um, can you repeat, please? I have found the word message. Second line. Guys. Yes, Social you are right. Network. But we have some. Yes. Sir. yes. Social. Landline. A mail. Skype. Yeah, that's enough. Dear yes, students, um, uh, you have guessed all the new phrases. And it means that you understood today's lesson. In today's lesson, we have learned vocabulary for means of communication, practiced vocabulary for means of communication, and the last one, revised the previous grammar. Our lesson is over. See you next time. And don't forget to do your homework. For homework, I, you have to write uh, an essay for the topic uh, the role of the technology in our lives. Be sure to use the new phrases. See you soon, students. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye. teacher. Goodbye. Goodbye.